What's going on guys? Jonathan Dietz out here on Lake Erie with Fish USA. We're going to talk about some of the new Z-Man baits coming out. And one of the ones that I really want to talk about is the new Z-Man Gobius. This is a lifelike goby bait that really does the best job in the industry of representing a goby. And what better place to talk about it than on the place where they were really first discovered into the United States. And that is one of the biggest problems with the Great Lake, but we're taking advantage of it. And that's what Z-Man did with this bait. They created the most lifelike presentation with the 3D printed body, the fins, the eyes. They've put a bigger hook into this bait so that way you can fish it on your favorite bait casting gear, which I'll get into here in a minute. But they've also done a great job at putting a paddle tail on there with these accurate representation of these fins. Just does a phenomenal job at actually looking like a bottom dwelling goby or any other sculpins. Just because you don't have gobies in your system doesn't mean this bait won't work for you. Every body of water and every fishery has bottom oriented bait fish, which is what this does a great job at representing with all the different colors and whatnot that they have. So one of the best things about this bait is the Elaztec that the company put into there. You know, Z-Man is really, really well known for their Elaztec and any bottom oriented bait that you're gonna be catching a lot of fish on, if you can have a plastic like this that is super, super durable, it just saves us time and money on the water. You can, know, you can throw one bait and go through 60, 70 fish without ever, out ever having to worry about it. And that's one of my favorite things that they've done with this bait. This 60 degree line tie really does a great job at pulling it through cover, as well as they added a little bit extra rubber right here on the nose, and it almost acts like a bumper on the bait when it's going through rock. Instead of getting wedged into there, it almost kind of bounces off and allows it to climb over top of the rock. And so one thing they've also done with this in-body weight system that they have in there, the bait glides down to the bottom instead of falling straight down. So you get an accurate swimming representation of what a goby or a sculpin actually does, especially when it's on the bottom. So a lot of times what you'll have fish do is fish will actually come up as this bait is sinking because it has that accurate glide as it comes down. And so let's talk a little bit about the gear that I throw this bait on. I like to throw it on your favorite finesse jig rod. For me, it's a 7.2 Arc Invoker Limited Series rod. Uh, it's like a medium light, and so what it does is it just gives me a little bit more power to set that hook, and it allows me to upgrade my line a little bit. So if I'm fishing a little bit shallower, I can go to 15 pound P-line tactical, or if I'm fishing a little bit deeper, I can go to eight or 10 pound P-line tactical. And so I pair that with an eight one to one Arc uh, G5 series bait casting reel. And again, guys, anytime you're around smallmouth or even largemouth and you're fishing offshore or just fishing cover, a lot of times they'll be grouped up. And so being able to get those fish off of that cover and back to the boat as fast as possible just gives you a better chance at being able to catch more of those fish out of that school, which is why I really, really like being able to throw this bait on my bait casting gear. So again, we just have some offshore structure right out here and you can see there's a lot of pan fish and whatnot that live on this structure. And so just finding these areas where these, these bluegills and these crappies get offshore is a great way to really target some of these bigger fish. There's so many of them. There's so much of everything that lives on this thing. You can see that bait falling right, right there. Stereotypical Presque Isle Bay largemouth. You can tell they're eating it funny coming down on it because the hook's in the, like in their lower jaw, so they're like coming down and crushing it. Yeah. But again, just nice largemouth, just sitting on some offshore structure. And you know, people overlook a goby bait like this, especially on a body of water like this, but any Great Lakes body of water, any clear body of water, there's going to be sculpin style baits, especially Lake Erie. So it's a great bait to come up here on the Great Lakes and target largemouth because those gobies live in the bay just as well as they live out in deep water too. So. 